is day 47 got the wood stove in here finally old school it's like from 1900 um yeah it's like 100 years old it's the real deal original not a not a duplicate from taiwan or china um really cool so yeah that's in here i got the bolts in here as i got told you about the front has these holes in it because for these nickel these original nickel things like they go on they're like trim work that go on here but I'm not putting them back on. So I'm going to use the holes that they would normally click into to, you know, there's that bar down there. That's going to be Mason. I'm going to use Mason, uh, Mason reed bits to go through the stone. And then I'm going to bolt that down to the floor. And then these things are going to go from right, from right in the top. And then they're going to thread into that with like lock washers and nuts. And then this is going to be, you know, lock locked onto here you know, ratchet it down real tight and then I'm going to cut the extra off and then paint it black. So I have two of those and, uh, that'll hold the, the wood burning stove, like solid to the floor. And there's, there's another hole in the back. So there's going to be one, two, and three of those pinning it down to the floor. So that's my plan. Um, yeah. So that's the wood burning stove. Really, really cool stove though. to put my can uh, kettle on the top and boil water and what have you, but yeah. Starting to build a chimney. Um, this is the top to my kitchen counter that I cut out today. So I'm gonna use that over here and fabricate a little area for uh, like a, a lamp and whatever. Um, so uh, I had the, I did the, chest freezer today it's running right now um so when it's on setting it has six settings it has you know a power a power button that's always on when it's plugged in and then the green button turns on when it's co in cooling mode so when it's when the compressor is running so really good feature to have that so you can always know if it's on you can always know when it's running um it has six settings to the knob see it just shut off it only runs see right now it's on setting one and uh, it runs for like five minutes and then shuts off for like two hours. But um, I cut it, uh, I cut out the kitchen counter. I put a little piece of trim here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put my cutting board on top of there. I'll put another piece of trim to from there to the back to like kind of lock it into there. Um, it pulls from my inverter during the sun. When the sun was out, it was pulling 30 watts. So as it was running, which means that when the green light was on, that means the compressor is running. It was pulling 30 watts off the inverter. So really efficient. Um, super happy I got this. Um, so it's on setting one right now, which is the lowest setting that you can set it on. And, uh, you know, it's 14 degrees. So you can basically use it as a refrigerator without having to even tweak the thermostat. You just set it on this. It's nice and cool in here. 14 degrees. Um, yeah. And this is the, the Magic Chef one. I, I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't have like really good like insulation. So you guys can look at the top. It's like really thick and uh, the walls are really thick and uh, it's just a really good quality refrigerator. It's got a drain. So you want to defrost, you just shut it off and drain out the front to a pan. Um, it comes with a little ice scraper. Yeah, like it's, it's really, really well insulated. So when it shuts off, it just stays off for hours and keeps your stuff cold. You don't have to worry about at nighttime running off your solar panels. Um, you run it all day. So it's like below zero in there. And then it just, you just shut it off for the nighttime and it'll, when you open it up in the morning, it's still going to be below zero. That's the best thing about the chest freezers. When you open them up from the top, all the cold air doesn't just spill out to the floor. It just stays cold in there. So you can open it up and get stuff out of there and close it. And the, the, the cold air is still just sitting in there. So, yeah, really good. I definitely go with a, a chest freezer instead of a refrigerator if you guys are going to do this type of solar, off-grid solar build. I mean, you know, it's it's definitely the best option, without a doubt. I mean, you can get a big refrigerator, but they're power, they're power slops, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But, I mean, it's up to you. Everybody can do what they want to do, you know, to each his own. But this is definitely, um, definitely happy that I did this. Um, it does barely ever runs. It just stays ice cold and it just sits like that. And when it's sitting like this, it's pulling no energy off my inverter, no energy from my battery bank, what have you. 
Uh, it's just nothing. It's just like idling. As soon as that green light kicks on, it's 30 watts for like a couple minutes here and there, every hour, every two hours, and that's it. It doesn't turn on again. So, yeah, that's it. Came out good. Gonna um, run the wires from behind there to the 120 uh, strip that goes over there, and then there's another wire back there that I can hit to the inverter. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys, uh, the big, the last big things are in. Now it's time to clean up, bolt this down, and start cleaning everything up and packing it with food and starting to, you know, get rid of a lot of tools and stuff and then uh, gradually do trim work and painting and things like that. Uh, so I'm almost there. All right, guys.